Demographics rule the world. The exact combination of young and old, workers and retirees, can determine a country's economic future. Every country has a demographic sweet spot where uh, the majority of your population is of working age. So they're both producing and they're consuming. Great for the economy. Well, demographics are very important. Put, put bluntly, for advanced economies, the more people there are, the larger the economy is likely to be, and the more power and influence they're likely to wield on the global stage. And that's why the US is a global leader, and it's why European countries club together to influence policy on a global level. The population of the planet doubled twice in the 20th century, meaning the world was able to create more wealth. So in 1965, there were about 3.3 billion people on the planet. Now it's about 7.3, and that's just, just 50 years later. So that's obviously had an enormous effect on the productive capacity of the economy in total. But as well as growing, the world's population is ageing. The average age of all the people on Earth at the start of this decade was 32. By the end of this century, it will be 42. By 2035, 1.1 billion people will be over the age of 65. This greying of the planet has potentially profound economic implications. As the population ages, it means there are more people consuming goods and services and fewer people producing them. So simply there's just a bit less to go around. And overall that means that an economy with an ageing population is going to be growing slower uh, than it otherwise would. As ageing happens, uh, people are going to save less, they're going to spend more, and that's potentially going to push up interest rates quite significantly over the next few decades. Mm -hmm.